Welcome to the MBS Engineering channel. Today, we will understand the below topics are. The first topic is, how to convert bar to PSI and PSI to bar. The second topic is, how to convert bar to kilogram per centimeter square and kilogram per centimeter square to bar. The third topic is, how to convert kilogram per centimeter square to PSI and PSI to kilogram per centimeter square. The fourth topic is, how to convert kilopascal to PSI and PSI to kilopascal. The upcoming slides will discuss this topic. Next, we will learn the first topic is, how to convert bar to PSI and PSI to bar. Please remember that one bar is equals to 14.5 PSI. Next. We will learn the sample example. Next, convert 15 bar to PSI. Next, 15 bar multiplied by 14.5. Therefore, the obtained pressure value is 217.5 PSI. Next, we will learn how to convert the PSI to bar. Please remember that 14.5 PSI is equal to 1 bar. Next, we will learn the sample example. Next, Convert 217.5 PSI to bar. Next, 217.5 PSI divided by 14.5. Therefore, the obtained pressure value is 15 bars. Next, we will learn the second topic is how to convert a bar to a kilogram per centimeter square and a kilogram per centimeter square to a bar. Please remember that one bar is equals to 1.02 kilograms per centimeter square. Next, we will learn the sample example. Next, convert 100 bar to kilogram per centimeter square. Next, 100 bar is multiplied by 1.02. Therefore, the obtained pressure value is 102 kilograms per centimeter square. Next, we will learn how to convert the kilogram per centimeter square to bar. Please remember that 1.02 kilograms per centimeter square is equal to 1 bar. Next, we will learn the sample example. Next, convert 102 kilograms per centimeter square to a bar. Next, 102 divided by 1.02. Therefore, the obtained pressure value is 100 bars. Next, we will learn the third topic is, how to convert kilogram per centimeter square to PSI and PSI to kilogram per centimeter square. Please remember that 1 kilogram per centimeter square is equals to 14.23 PSI. Next, we will learn the sample example. Next, convert 75 kilograms per centimeter square to PSI. Next, 75 kilograms per centimeter square multiplied by 14.23 PSI. Therefore, the obtained pressure value is 1067.25 PSI. Next, we will learn how to convert the PSI to kilogram per centimeter square. Please remember that 14.23 PSI to 1 kilogram per centimeter square. Next, we will learn the sample example. Next, convert 1067.25 PSI to kilogram per centimeter square. Next, 1067.25 PSI is divided by 14.23. Therefore, the obtained pressure value is 75 kilograms per centimeter square. Next, we will learn the fourth topic is, how to convert kilopascal to PSI and PSI to kilopascal. Please remember that 1 kilopascal is equals to 0.145 PSI. Next, we will learn the sample example. Next, convert 100 kilopascal to PSI. Next, 100 kilopascal multiplied by 0.145. Therefore, the obtained pressure value is 14.5 PSI. 
Next, we will learn how to convert the PSI to kilopascal. Please remember that 0.145 PSI to 1 kilopascal. Next, we will learn the sample example. Next, convert 14.5 PSI to kilopascal. Next, 14.5 PSI is divided by 0.145. Therefore, the obtained pressure value is 100 kilopascal. We hope everyone understands how to convert bar to PSI and PSI to bar. And how to convert bar to kilogram per centimeter square and kilogram per centimeter square to bar. How we convert to kilograms per centimeter square to PSI and PSI to kilograms per centimeter square. And then, how to convert kilopascal to PSI and PSI to kilopascal. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more informative videos. Please like and leave a comment.